What's going on good people? In today's video here for The Witcher Tree, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to locate the Bond Key and Dolores Hidden Treasure Chest, as well as a few other things when we're at Red Dawn Manor. Most of this takes place during the quest, The Fall of the House of Red Dawn. So with that on, let's get started. So showing you exactly on the map where Red Dawn is at, I guess you could kind of say it's in the center when we're in Velen. So more in the center area, east of Linden Vale. Linden Vale over there, so kind of east of Linden Vale is where Red Dawn Mana is at. So let's zoom on in, gonna show you guys where we can find the Bond Key or obtain it. So we need to go hit up this building right over here. So moving on from this uh, post over here, man, we're gonna make our way to that building. On a side note, I recommend speaking with Dolores first before you do all of this. So you can initiate the quest and also get the key to the actual treasure chest, man, once you find it. So when we go inside this building right over here, we see this bond key. Got the little glitter going up on top of the chest. So we got the sturdy bond key when we access it. So I wonder what door is open, right? I with you, girl. So let's make our way off in this direction. We can find the door. So bank down over here, and we got the bond right here. So let me show you guys exactly where this is at on the map. More or less south from our location. So zoom on in. So let us go inside, open up this barn, and then if we inspect the area, man, we'll see some writing on the wall right over here, and below the wall is actually where the hidden treasure chest is at. So if we look down low, we examine the area, you see we got this treasure chest, man. So all we need to do is interact with it, and it'll come, you know, moving its way out. <laughs> like it's possessed by a ghost or something, right? So let's go ahead, snatch up the contents inside, get the XP points in the process, and we're good to go. We could return to Dolores to let her know that we found the chest. Um, there are actually a few other things we can do. I'll show that in a little bit, man, just to give you guys uh, some more um, background on some stuff. So we will make our way back to the post, and then we could head to Linden Vale, where Dolores is at inside the tavern. Right over here, west of our current location. She'll let you know, hey man, you know, you did me a solid, you could go ahead and keep the rewards and everything inside the chest. Carol will be like, hey man, that's pretty generous of you, right? So we got the quest complete, received some XP points, and we're good to go, man. Um, now, a few other things to note. If you do complete this quest without finding the chest, uh, Dolores will encourage you to go back and really do a search for the area. She'll be like, hey man, you know, I really want you to keep the reward inside. You know, so many years have passed, but go back and search carefully. You know, she ain't got really nothing else to give us. So she she really want us to keep this stuff, right? So if we do go back, we find the chest right over here. As you can see, find the chest, interact with the chest, get the contents, get the XP points, and we're still good to go. Um, another thing to note is if we return back to the area after some time, we'll see Dolores setting up shop, trying to clean the area out. And we could ask her about um, how it is to return home. Managing all right. Hope there wasn't too much monster damage. A bit. The whole time, I think, was the greater culprit. But I don't let it worry me. I spent my youth in this house. Restoring its splendor will be a pleasure, not a burden. Hope this proves a peaceful home. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. And do take care of yourself. One final thing to note is after we find the chess man, we can also head to the cellar behind the barn for some additional XP points. So if we go down in this direction, right behind the barn, we'll see we get the entrance marker updated on the map. So let me show you guys exactly where this is at. So right behind the barn, you see right over there, we got ourselves an entrance to the cellar mat. So let us go ahead and safely proceed inside. Uh, not like that, but oh well. And uh, do a search of the area, man. You might find some useful things. But the main thing to pay attention to is this wall right over here. So let's go ahead, investigate that wall, and see what's going on. Strange. Wall looks like it was put up later than the others. Skeleton in the closet. Happens in the best families. A man. In his 30s, 40s maybe. A couple of 
page is missing, torn out, and thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. Gods have mercy. So now that we've discovered this man, let's return back to Dolores. Uh, let her know what we found. So head back to the post to fast travel. Once again, make your way over to the west to Linden Vale. And then once we reach Linden Vale, let's make our way off in this direction inside the tavern where Dolores is at and report all of our findings to her. You've returned. What's become of my home? It's safe now. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So, Roderick, my husband, he killed him. Gods. Sorry. The truth can be cruel. Uh, one can't turn back time. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. So as you can see, we get more XP points in the process. We also completed the quest as always, and we're good to go. Uh, so folks, that is pretty much that, man. I just wanted to give you guys this walkthrough video on the Witcher Tree, showing you guys how to locate the Bond Key and Dolores Hidden Treasure Chest at Red Dawn Mono. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on in the comments below. As always, I appreciate the support. And with that there, fellas, man, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.